Hey, I'm Dom. I'm over 40. And I'm a parent, two kids, two dogs. Life can be busy, life can be hectic. It does leave little time for the exercise or the training. I get that, I've been there, done that too. But the truth is that finding the time for this fitness thing is something that does become crucial to you, particularly as you age. Your health and fitness, and not only that, but your physical and your mental well-being. It's not a lousy schedule that holds you back. It's actually you from achieving your fitness goal. So don't let that happen. One solution maybe is to start prioritizing and scheduling time for you. You've got to put you first because how can you serve the other people that are around you, such as the kids, the spouse, the workmates, the family, the neighbors, whatever that is for you. Like any other thing, it's an important appointment. You've got to schedule it, whether it's early in the morning for you, you're a morning person, maybe you can fit it during the day because that gives you the pep in your step to hit the afternoon without having to go and suck on some jelly beans. Or maybe you're going to do it at night time because that's just when it works for you. But find out where that time is and try to stick to it. Me personally, middle of the day. I can train out in the morning or night, that doesn't make a difference, but I find the middle of the day is what works for me. So... Not only physically does it help, but mentally, emotionally, I get a sense of accomplishment, so I'm not as stressed, I'm not a grumpy SOB, and a lot of that comes down to just prioritizing me. It's selfish, I get it, but bugger it. I need to be selfish, because if I can't be selfish for me, then who can I be selfish for? No point being a broken old piece of shit if I can't help anybody, not even mind myself. If I fall over and as I say, I slip, I trip, I break a hip, I'm no good to anybody. Maybe another solution for you is maybe to incorporate that into your routine. So maybe in the morning, instead of jumping on the bus just down the road, you walk to the next bus stop. Same with the train, you get off the train station early, at least you're getting your steps in. Maybe it's a bit of a job. Maybe you put in your, your runners, your shorts and a t-shirt and you've got a ruck because you're carrying all your other shit with you anyway, but just chuck them in and get off a station or two earlier and hoof it home. You're not necessarily going to carry dumbbells around, but the other thing, as I said, we, I've implied it there is a ruck. It's a heavier backpack. They're walking that little bit further with a little bit of extra weight on your back will help build some strength, your core stability and all those sorts of things that we see with rucking. So therefore, what I want you to do is not let time be the enemy and don't tell use time as the excuse because lack of time is only important to you when suddenly you have no time at all. That's when you're dead. So therefore, please prioritize your health and fitness. Mum, dad, brother, sister, cousin, dog walker, doesn't make a difference. If you're over 40, you need to start focusing on that. You need to start dialing it in. In actual fact, as we get over 40, we should be putting that as a bigger priority because I want to be able to move on in my 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and be around for the grandkids and their kids and give them shit and hell and paybacks a bitch. But we need to work on it more as we get older. Don't let the 20 or 30 something with the fleshy Instagram and the six packs and running around the G-banger tell you any different. It doesn't make a difference whether you've got a six-pack. It doesn't make a difference if you look good in a bikini or good naked or any of that shit. What makes a difference is that you can get up every day, you can get out of bed, and you can go about your day and feel like that you are capable. And having a six-pack doesn't mean shit.